Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well and today you guys are gonna come with me as I do my makeup and we're just gonna kind of chat about life. I guess I will just start by giving a little insight into what my life is looking like right now because I feel like you probably know that I'm in Boston but other than that I have been living and going to school in Boston for the past few years now and I honestly really love it. Boston is such a cool place so in that particular sense I'm doing quite well. I'm really enjoying where I am right now which is a beautiful thing and I'm just very happy and pleased with my decision to be in Boston and I really wouldn't change where I am for the world. The actual life sort of changes that are going on have been kind of difficult for me recently. My first semester was abroad and so then coming back second semester freshman year to being on campus, especially in Boston, it's cold, it's the winter, and just kind of figuring out at the tail end of COVID how to make friends, how to get involved, especially second semester. The school just does not make as much of an effort to acclimate new students or transfer students and they don't host club fairs or tell you about how intramurals work or things like that. So it definitely was just a hard transition and this was last winter. And so then kind of coming into school this year, I was like, okay, this will be my first full year on campus. It'll be really awesome and I'll have a much easier time getting used to it. But then of course, their main goal is acclimating the freshmen. And so it's like, they kind of just assume that like every non-freshman has figured out their life and like has everything set up and is well adjusted, I guess, if that makes sense. I definitely felt like I was on my own in terms of like meeting new people and specifically I'm living in a single right now, which is exactly what I wanted, but again, definitely more difficult to meet others because I'm quite secluded. And so I guess this is like a good segue into talking about friendships because I have just realized as I've gotten older that I'm definitely someone that only has a couple close friends and that's pretty much it. I'll have other acquaintances, but I really prefer to have one or two close people in my life that I spend the majority of my time with. Otherwise, I'd rather be alone. I don't think it's worth it, and I don't necessarily want to waste my life with others that don't really care that much about me or care for me. People I don't really have like a close connection with, I don't know, I just think that's a waste. There's pros and cons to that because when you are going to a school where you don't know anybody, it's harder to form those connections and it takes longer to form those connections. And so for a while, you're sort of on your own. And I definitely met a lot of cool people, but also not necessarily people that I really see myself having that really close bond and relationship with. Back to the main idea, I think, and I talked about this with a few of my friends, both friends that I know from home and at school, and we just kind of talked about how college can feel pretty isolating, especially if you're not someone that is on an athletic team or is in any sort of Greek life, which I knew. I've always known that I did not want to be part of Greek life. I don't have that sort of enthusiasm or desire to spend my time in big groups like that. Again, going back to the fact that I'd rather spend time alone than the people that I like moderately like or know. My school is not a big Greek life school, which is nice, but still plenty of people do it. And so that was also something I started second guessing was like, should I try and rush? And then I was like, absolutely not. I would be miserable. So that's kind of where I landed on that. But again, it can be potentially isolating. And if you don't have friends in your classes or you don't really mesh well with the people in your classes, you really have to go out of your way to go to club meetings or get a job or I don't know, meet people or talk to people at like the gym. There's ways you can meet people, but they're all so uncomfortable. Like I, you will never catch me at the gym trying to like chat someone up. And another thing that I guess kind of goes along with like my personal ethics or value is that I don't have social media. And so that's just is like another, another thing that makes it more difficult to meet people because that's the easiest way to just, oh, what's your Instagram? Oh, let me add you on Snapchat and we can talk. And like, that's the easiest way to build relationships. But when I deleted social media, I knew that it was going to be kind of a barrier to making friends in a way, if I'm being honest. But I accepted that because I knew that like, my mental health was more important than that and my philosophy which i know is like kind of selfish but i think that if people want to talk to me or get to know me enough then they'll make an effort to reach out and text me or spend time with me and like same goes with people that i want to spend time with so i think that people that are like oh you don't have social media like how are we gonna talk you can text me like a normal person or don't talk to me at all you know so that's just a boundary that i've set for myself and i've had for well over a year so I'm very used to it but again in college kind of difficult but it is a really weird feeling when you find yourself sort of second guessing these ethics or values that you've had in place for a long time like knowing that I didn't want to rush or like not having social media I'm glad that I've stayed true to 
my initial like side or beliefs so if people ask about college i always like to say that i love it because i do and more than anything like i said i love boston and the fact that i'm here makes up for just about everything because I do so much on my own and just explore Boston and spend time outside. I'm doing everything that I can to take care of myself, which is really all I can do in this situation. I will say it has been kind of weirdly isolating and lonely, I guess, in a sense. I started a job recently, which has been really awesome for so many reasons. First, just having that sort of structure um, in my life is really nice because since my first job when I guess I was 16 I've always like enjoyed working and having just like a busy schedule I've had a job pretty much consistently since then and so when I came back to Boston I was like okay I really want to find something I ended up finding something and I really really love it I love the people that I work with it's a really flexible schedule which is perfect for classes which also just to be clear I'm very involved in my studies and I would argue that having less friends makes it a lot easier to do well in class. So I adore all my classes and my professors and I get my shit done, don't worry. Obviously I'm not free 24 seven and I do have a fairly limited window of availability, but they make it work. And literally these people are so awesome and I just, I'm so happy that I found it. And without getting like super, I don't know, Pinterest quote-esque, I feel like people come into your life when you least expect it and I definitely had a really rough past few weeks and then I found this job and I just I've kind of I feel so much better my mindset has just improved so much and like I don't know I just I feel like a burden has been lifted so yeah that's been really wonderful in a pretty unexpected way I really struggle when other people and I think it's typically adults like to stress how great college is and how oh you better take advantage of this time it's gonna be the best four years of your life blah 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 like all this stuff which is fine but of course people say the same thing about high school and at least personally for me I can already tell you they weren't the best four years of my life and so I just really have an issue with people romanticizing these periods or times in your life it puts a strong pressure on me for example if i stay home on a friday night rather than going out to go to like a frat or a bar or something in the back of my mind i'm like you're wasting the best four years of your life you're only going to be 19 once all this stuff when in reality i'm perfectly content either being by myself going out to eat like doing something like that that doesn't involve going out partying drinking whatever so my main thing is just trying to let go of both other people's expectations and also sort of what I think college should look like. I feel like like so many things in life, when you stop having expectations, things always end up working out better. I don't know, sometimes I do these videos and I feel like I'm the least articulate person in the world, but hopefully this made sense and was interesting and I don't know, just whether you're in college, out of college, going to be in college, have no interest in college, just take some of this advice or just makes you think about your life i don't know whatever and here's my makeup i just i hate taking it off i sit in this desk every morning and i'm like mm, i could do makeup and then i think about 15 hours from now when i have to take it off and then i instantly don't want to do it anymore but i need to because it's fun and i feel pretty so yeah